Ah, uh, and a good afternoon. Oh, uh, Roberto's a catch the ticket guy. Shout out to Paul Basketball. We'll leave it alone. That's amazing. Hey, David, Roberto's still got it. Maybe. I know. <laughs> be nice if for today. Be nice if he'd put out more than once a month, but hey, he's still got it. For oh. today. <clears throat> People. We're about to blindside this entire radio show and this entire community. I am going to open this show with something I did not share with Rico, David, or Kenny. Not with Evan, not with Roberto. Hey, guys, guess what? The topic's not on the sheet. We have breaking news. <clears throat> breaking news from 97 won the ticket. We're in a playoff chase. All right. <laughs> Your Detroit Red Wings, 5-4 in a shootout, in the middle of the night. They're red hot. Are we in a playoff chase? I don't know how to react because our teams don't make the playoffs. And in football, there's no such thing. You're either in it or you're not. But in basketball, baseball, hockey, you get these prolonged playoff chases. Rico Beard. Uh, is all of Taylor about to be flying a Red Wings uh, flag and decal yeah. on their Astro van? I was about to say, it's not a playoff chase until the Wings fa- flags come out on the car. Then, and only then, do I believe. All I know is Kenny was upset over the 5-4 win last night. Why? Wasn't good enough. Take his card away. Wasn't good enough. They played like trash. What do you want from me? Yes, they won. They should have lost. If they played that game Kenny. the way they played 10 times in a row, they lose nine of those games. Kenny, but they didn't. But they, they didn't. Play, they were, played we're in a the playoff one, chase. And it worked. It makes up for a bad loss earlier in the year. You stole one. Two things can be true. Yes, we're in a playoff chase. This is exciting. I'm ready to have fun. Last night was not an example of why, but we won. That's how many, all that matters. How many points out of the wild card and how many games in hand? Don't you have five games in hand on well, the Islanders, on the Capitals? We're four points out of the wild card, and we have three games in hand on the Capitals, I believe. And Ovechkin's home at his dad's funeral. He may not return any time in the near future. A huge loss. I think we play them a little bit down the road. He will probably be back for that game. No, but he we, won't. No, okay. Sally, he won't. Okay, Why no, don't he you won't. David shut has your bearded me. face and just go with it? Are we in a playoff chase, people? I'm asking. I don't remember what it's like. But the Wings have come out of the All-Star break. They're hot. They beat the Flames a couple weeks ago. They got to play them again tonight. Still the Saddle Dome, or have they changed the name of that decrepit old building? To the Saddle Dome we go. Jerome McGinley in hand. Yeah. Oh, Larkin, boy. Larkin had a fire lit underneath him. So, yeah. Come on. I so want to tell me that when he gets paid, he'll stop scoring because I think that's that's what's generally happen. how it works in a contract year. Yes, no, I, I want to know. I think these are spike goals right now. Is Just our ace engineer Ryan Skomak our phone screener today? What the hell's going on here, Ryan? I never get to see you during showtime. This is outstanding. What? What is going? Why is Kenny just standing there? We may be doing the call screener shuffle. I may be returning from the penalty box at some Breaking point. Um, <laughs> awesome. Kenny yeah. showed up to work drunk. Penalty. First hour out of his own cube. 248 539 9797. Oh, we have the football. We have football today. We've got lion yeah. stuff. I am. But I do miss the flags on the car. I do miss that. Don't worry. The wings flag. The Brownstown Army will be back after this. Listen to me. Is this officially a playoff chase or do we have to wait longer? Is it trade deadline? Is it mid March? What? What at what point would it be a Red Wings playoff chase for this town? I think the honest answer to that question is what happens at the trade deadline? Where are we at at the trade deadline? That will tell you everything you need to know about Steve Eiserman's direction, about this team, and about the next couple of months of hockey. Oh, yeah. Are you buyers or sellers? Exactly. You know what Stevie's going to do at the deadline? Oh, we're going in. It's time. Come on. I want to know. Oh, we'll get to football. We'll get to how Jim Costa finally listened to mommy and daddy and stopped saying stupid stuff on the radio. (laughs) We're going to have a great time. We're also going to talk about why Rico thinks the Lions need to be a bit more of a con artist in a good way. But we're doing the hockey to open. They, They went out west, and they beat a good Edmonton team, and they didn't play their best, but they're on fire right now. 
They're S- four S- points out. Seriously, I wouldn't have known because Kenny was just like, they didn't play their best. They should have did this. Yeah. I'm not happy with this. I mean, they got the victory, but I'm not happy. Has it occurred to you that Kenny's unreasonable and oftentimes of limited intellect? He's your son. Just go with it. Yeah. He's the kid you, you know had it, that it, it just it, hasn't worked out, but you still David, love him. It now clicked. That's Mike's illegitimate kid. Right. <laughs> this kid he got. Yeah, but if he were mine, he'd have way better hygiene. That's why I said Two, illegitimate. 9797 He just Damn showed it. up at your door at 18. All right, the stork dropped <laughs> off a bearded guy who hadn't showered in three days. He's all yours. All right, let's get to it. David, are we in? And again, Tigers, Pistons, Wings, it's been ages. Are we in a playoff chase, or is this premature? That's what I need to know. I think. Kenny, that's hurtful. (laughs) That's a late flag. I don't know if we can accept that one. (laughs) He almost broke the. (laughs) I don't know what he was coming in here for. He just threw harder than Matthew Boyd. It truly is trade deadline. If you're buyers or sellers, let you know what Eisenman feels about this team. But, yeah. Right now, come on. We're in a race, Rico. Verona's coming you back. You know what? They're, they're doing their job. They're Bertuzzi. winning. We're in a race, man. I want to wait a little bit longer. But why? This is so This is so different for us here in Detroit. And look, you don't have because to be we're a hockey desperate. fan. No, no, because we're desperate for a winner. Yes. That's why. True. Very so we, true. We may be seeing things that just, you know, can't sustain, can't last. So if you want to go that route, that's fine. I'm not going to bash you, but I'm going to wait till the trade deadline. Wow, Rico doesn't want us to have fun and think that we're in a race. I mean, wow, Rico. Okay, well, then you know what? Hey, you're in a race, and, uh, yeah, James Wiseman is going to win the uh, comeback player of the year. Take it easy. What are we taking it easy for? He had 11 points. Listen, we are four (laughs) points out. We got three games in hand. We're in the last quarter of the season. Why not have a little fun? Yeah, you can why not? Or do you truly need to wait another five to seven games? I understand they've only played 53 games. I, you're right. It's probably a little premature. But if they're out on the West Coast and they're winning games, they've won four in a row, they're seven and three in their last 10, they're young, they play hard, Larkin's turned it up. I don't know. Why not? And you don't even have to like hockey. If you're a sports fan locally, you've had no fun. Sure, the Lions, after a 1-6 and six start, rallied, but there has to be more to life than just the Lions. None of our other sports teams have done a damn thing. The Red Wings are actually in this. Tigers haven't been in it in about a decade. Pistons, I mean, making the playoffs in the NBA is not quite the same thing as the NHL. In the NBA, you make the playoffs as an eight seed. It's like when cattle go to the slaughter room. And receive a bolt to the skull. Boom, dead. The NHL. But what, but what about the Kimbe Mutombo and the Nuggets? Ah, holding, holding the I basketball. Had a dream. Right. I just, <laughs> you know, I, I really, but guys, why not embrace it? Why not have a good time with it? And you know what? In the lead up to the deadline, where I'd ask Kenny, when is the deadline? Kenny has left us. He threw a flag. It almost hit Ryan on the ricochet, which is not right because Ryan's working to make this show better technologically. I just, David, when is the deadline? We are two weeks away. It's March 3rd. Why can't we, in the lead up to the deadline, get on board? Are we in a chase? 248-539-9797. All the football we talk, all the mock drafts, all the nonsense on this station, hosts talking about corners and quarterbacks. You know what? Here's actual sports. Here's proof in the effing pudding. You'd rather talk NFL offseason than in season. Iser plan, young team Seems winning, to be turning that corner. Winning actual games. Rallying out of the all star break. Four points out, three games in hand. Well, especially after having the uh game of chicken with uh Larkin. With Larkin you didn't think that it would turn out positively. Yeah, but but is, maybe he was the ultimate motivator. Is Iserman really Monty Burns just going excellent? Could like, I, I don't know. Right, because that could normally destroy a guy's ego. Like, wow, you're just not going to budge on this money. I don't know if I want to be here. But he went the other way. Started scoring goals. And now he's going to be walking there and say, pay me my money.
David, Stevie. David, are ticket techs coming through, or are people angry we opened with a playoff chase in breaking news? No, plenty are coming okay. in. Good. Says, uh, when Good. did Rico transform into Commander Buzzkill? Jim. Is that a comic <laughs> character? No. I'm asking for a friend. No. No, they're just saying I'm Commander Buzzkill. <laughs> If you want to be excited, go ahead. No, it's just Don't about. Care. Uh, okay. Here's but it's a, just one of those, you ask me, when I, it's going to be a few more games. Okay, outside of football season, I'm being serious now. When is the last time any of us were able to watch our non-football teams in meaningful games? Games that you earn the right to play in. Rico, at a minimum, it's been, wait for it, Years. I was about to say, didn't the Tigers hit a blip for like a few weeks last? But in baseball, May? in baseball, it has to be August. Right, or I said last May or June. Like, oh they, yeah, they hit some streak, and all of a sudden it was like shout out Rally Goose. Yeah, uh, Pistons. When is it? When Special K was delivering his sermon against this radio station, and they made the playoffs that nobody wanted. Guys, I'm being serious. When is the last time that a team on a rebuild? building young started to deliver you don't even remember so you don't even have to know the first thing about hockey to just go you know what it would be fun to have meaningful games and god help us if it's a playoff game i mean you saw with people how they reacted to the lions and they didn't make the playoffs. there it is but it was fun to watch and hope and in the end it was a winner take all game and i think i know what the answer is regarding when we can officially begin I'll give it to you next.